So this is our half bath, and we've noticed that the sink is draining really slow. I already have the water running, and um, but it hopefully you can see that um, with the water running, it's just not draining down as quickly as it as it should. And if I shut the water off, you'll just kind of see. Hopefully you can see anyway. Just how slow that that drain is is uh, bringing the water out. So uh, what uh, I'm going to do today is try to get that cleared out and uh, kind of take you along the journey. So the first thing I'm going to try um, is uh, this deal I bought at uh, one of the box stores. Uh, it's called the Drain Weasel. I'm not sponsored by them, anything like that. Um, just going to try, but. Um, you can see or hopefully you can see like there's just these little barbs on the end here that uh, should capture any hair so I'm going to try to run this down um, and just see if we can get anything out um, if I can get it down in there there's definitely hair down in there but I can't get any farther so we're going to have to take that uh, the drain plug out and I will show you how you do that. So underneath where the trap is, and hopefully you can see this, but right here is where the lever for the drain plug is. And uh, so what we're going to have to do is loosen that up and take that out so that we can pull the drain plug out. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, i got to go grab some tools and probably going to pull everything out of the cabinet just so that if there is any water or anything like that it's not getting over everything that's in here. Um, also ends up probably being a good time to clean our, uh, our cabinet out. So I'm also going to take the drawers out because it's just going to give me more room to work in case I do have to pull the trap. So in order to get a drawer out it's just little tabs on the slides and uh, on either side and you just usually one goes up one goes down and we'll just set this over here we now have the drawers out and it gives us just better access to the work area so it's this nut right here we're going to get off I'm also going to just release that off of there um, sorry, my I'm sure my hand was just in the way there. And we're just going to back this off just to get it loosened up. pretty gunky but now you can go back up top and pull the should be able to pull the drain out all right so we're gonna pull this out oh yeah look at that I would probably explain that is just flat out nasty so we're gonna put that down here for a minute one would say I probably should be wearing gloves, which I probably should, but I'm not so worried about it. But I'm just going to run this thing down. Definitely getting some nasties out of there. Bring in a little trash. So the uh, this little deal came with a handle. I'm going to get that out. 
that just, that just loops in like that, and then it's kind of like a snake. You just pull it up, and it's definitely getting some nasty out of there. So, um, you know, you could probably should wear some gloves. It's my sink. It's basically me and Denise who use the sink, so um, it was definitely, so I was trying to avoid taking the, uh, the trap apart, but I think I'm going to. So I'm getting stuff out, but I'm not getting what I think I should get out. take the trap out and just kind of leave that there so I'm gonna get the trap off um, should be able to just hopefully yeah it should just be and just that's again you can see the water that's just the water that's in the trap um, That's why you want to have like a a uh, towel and a, I just have a Ziploc on here and then this should just pull down. This is pretty gunked up. Ooh, stanky, stanky, stanky. So I don't know if you can see, probably can't see that well in there. And not that you really want to. But um, yeah, it's definitely gunked up. And uh, ooh, stenchy, stenchy, stenchy. Good thing we don't have smell of vision. Um, so I'm just going to get everything cleaned up and we'll get everything back together and we should be good to go so I have this old brush that actually I don't know, I've had it forever, I think we bought it when we had a fish tank but it's actually perfect for just trying to get in you can see how much of the nasty stuff um, so I'm just getting that tail piece cleaned out We'll wipe all that up because obviously I don't want to go back down to the drain. We're going to clean out the uh, the trap itself and get everything start getting everything back together. So I'm just going to get the trap uh, hooked back up, um, and that is actually really simple to do because um, these just have to be finger tightened. Um, you don't have to do anything more than just give it a good squeeze like that and then this one um, same thing and I'll draw that right back up there we go all right traps back in okay so we're gonna get this uh, rod push place back in here um, so just get that in there start threading it and then just make sure up top that you're, you've engaged the stopper, which we have, and we're going to just finger tighten this down, and then I'm going to use the channel locks just to um, tighten it down just a hair more. Get the clip on. Put this in there. And just make sure. 
and we're good. So that's back in and we're all set. So we are gonna run the water much better. That's where the way it should be doing this. And uh, perfect. That's exactly what we want. Um, so this is an easy project that anybody can do. You don't have to be a master plumber. Um, it probably even with changing camera angles and different tripods, this probably took me a half hour. Um, you know, I was trying to do it, start with the easiest way, which was just run that little drain weasel thing down, which it just wouldn't get down to where I needed it to go. So popping the the uh, the the plug out, and uh, you know, as soon as I did that, it was pretty much clear. But there was some more gunk in the. Uh, in the trap itself so I cleaned the trap out and um, yeah so this again is a project that you don't have to call a plumber for even if you don't have like the little drain weasel thing or whatever as long as you have some tools some basic tools you can do this and then not that you really want to see it but that's the, the gunk that came out and that's the reason that drain was was running really really slow so I boiled some water in the teapot and I'm just going to run that down the drain now that'll probably hopefully get rid of any other things that may be farther down the line but as you can see this is draining just like it's supposed to so sorry about the steam I steamed us all up including my glasses so now I'll just get everything wiped down, cleaned up, and the sink is ready to rock. And then just to, uh, to put the drawer back in, you just line it up. just snap right back into place and you're all set so I hope you enjoyed the video um, and hopefully this helps you if you run into this problem and again you don't have to have a ton of tools you can do this with just basic tools um, what I used besides that little drain weasel thing I showed you earlier in the video my battery operated flashlight and a pair of channel locks and we were able to get that drain cleared out. The sink is working great. Mama's happy, which means, of course, everybody's happy. So if you found this informative, if you liked the video, please give it a like, subscribe to us, and hit that notification bell. And we all hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. Take care.